so this comes from Coffin M. James, or James M. Coffin, depending on how you... James B. Coffin. <laughs> uh, what is the most unusual tartan you get asked about, get asked to be made uh, at USA Kilts? Unusual hmm. tartan. Most unusual tartan. We'll bring Ian in for this one as well, because uh, he's yeah. going to be most unusual some unusuals. Tartan. Knocks out like a lot of interesting options off the list. Yeah, it's <laughs> the uh, we get it. We've there's been like a, a weird explosion um, of custom woven tartans in the last two years, two and a half years. Um, so those would be you know by default unusual because it's you know individual people ordering ordering their tartan. Um, but most most unusual in tartan that we've been asked about. Unusual to be woven tartan. Yeah. So there's lots of interesting fabrics that people want us to make kilts out of sometimes, but that's not the question here. Yeah. Um, it's hard to make me think a tartan is unusual because I've seen so many. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. 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 Um, I don't know how to answer this one. Okay, I got one. Go for it, Mac. Do you have any? Like Maybe this will trigger an idea. I, for I think me. the like again, uh, it's kind of like an unusual one for us. I think is the transit police that we just we mm -hmm. just got up uh, recently. That that yeah. was a little different. Yeah, and New how, Jersey transit police. They use, but they're not using their own tartan. Yeah, they're using. Um, it's like a, a specific Scottish Presbyterian Church's tartan in Scotland that they had to get special permission for. And it's, um, the warp and weft are different on it or something? No, you're thinking that's of the, the Homeland Department Security. Homeland Homeland Security. Uh, Department. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Which, again, is another. That, that's that was, another yeah, that was kind of one. unusual. I didn't know the Department of Homeland Security had their own tartan. You're not supposed to know. Shh, no, oh, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Um, now, the, the most unusual one that comes to my mind recently, um, we were contacted by a mason out mm. in Colorado. And uh, the, the universal Freemason tartan. Um, the Freemason tartan that exists is is a lot of purple, yeah. um, and it's actually the Utah Grand Lodge tartan is what people know as the free the Freemason tartan, um, and a lot of Masons look at the tartan and are like, oh, that's a lot of purple, uh. um, and blue is a very very strong seminal color in in Masonic stuff. Um, so there's a gent in uh, Colorado who did. A who designed a tartan recently. I think there's like six shades of blue in it, um, and white and black kind of thing. So it's a, it's a it's a it's a pretty good design um, for someone who just kind of came up with his first design. There's a ton of symbolism in it, um, and he's trying to get that um, kind of accepted by the the Colorado Lodge and trying to get a, a, a big group order together for that one. I think he's calling that the Fidelity Tartan. Um, Freemasons fidelity. Freemasons fidelity. Yeah, it's that's a good looking tartan. I would say that's the most unusual one that we've talked about. That's going to be woven recently. Hmm. I think it's actually on the website, isn't it? Uh, no, no, it's I don't not yet. I believe so. It will be. Yes. Interesting. Indeed. Indeed. That was mm. a bit of a soft reveal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Not the soft reveal of the Nordic Heritage tartan. <laughs> Later in the show. Um, yes. What was the um, we did one that was recently that was for the Sons of the American Revolution. <laughs> they were going to say Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> uh, at, uh, Philadelphia, they um, they were basing it off of um, of His Excellency George Washington's uh, uniform. They they what had the, was that? I forget that what that was called now off the top of my head. Yeah, that was a couple years ago, and my memory isn't that good. Um, I just remember trying to. Match the 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 particular colors. Yeah, he brought in like Washington's binder, or he brought in something, a book that was an artifact mm -hmm. um, from George Washington, and we're like, we tried to match a particular color, like tan. Yes. From it, yeah. What was that? That see that well, I think it was like right before your time as store manager. I've I've, I've I've dealt with the kilts. I know which one. I know which one you mean, but I don't Darn remember it. the name of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not going to. to. It was it was like Pennsylvania the Sons, Sons of the American that's Revolution. That's what it was. Yes, that's what it was. We'll yes. eventually get there. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool group, too. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, yeah, that's definitely an odd one. Yeah. So I do have an answer finally. Um, <laughs> there are a few custom weaves we've done relatively recently. You but... forgot that we don't care anymore. We've oh. already moved past. Oh, I'm just sitting here and sip my whiskey. <laughs> that has been the good whiskey has been tainted with the aroma. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I'm so pissed to I ch- ruin the good whiskey. <laughs> I, I poured water in it to try to swill out the. Or so like, did I, and it did not work. I know, not at all. <laughs> it's 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 very strong salted caramel flavor. All right, Ian, what is your... What yeah, is your... There, there's a couple that are unusual, but they're very personal ones to those people, and they're not really available, so I don't know if it's, you know, if, if, if we should discuss them, but uh, one that, that is pretty unusual in its color choices, if not its purpose, that we just had available recently was the Continue Tartan. I'd say that's pretty unusual color palette for, yeah. for a Tartan. So. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And it, it matches its purpose, so it's not unusual in a bad way, yeah. but yeah. The Continue Tartan, for those who don't know, is a suicide awareness Tartan. Um, that was done, I forget the gentleman's name. Brad. Brad, Brad uh, Wilson. Wilson, mm-hmm. yes, yes, yes. Not Brad Green. I've mixed up those two before. <laughs> Indeed. Quite embarrassingly. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so there, there's a lot of a lot of very cool uh, new tartan designs. Um, and the, the better ones, in my estimation, uh, one man's not so humble opinion, um, the, the better tartan designs have meaning to them. It's got to have some kind of gravitas. Um, so it's not just a, a smattering of colors for no reason at all, but it's, you know, the, the ones like the Continue Tartan, ones like the Masonic Tartan, it, there's loaded with meaning. That's that's what it pulls at my heartstrings at my soul. So, mm-hmm. hey, if you like us talking about unusual tartans, we actually have a whole host of videos over on our TikTok account, we have a whole pillar of content where we go around and ask the staff different unusual tartans that they have for different seasons or different holidays or things like that. So go over to TikTok and look for the USA Kilts official account.